welcome to this week's video. Now in this week's video, something a bit different, I'm going to be reviewing a new bit of kit. It's only just come out. It's been sent to me by the nice people at Xvive. And this is called the PX system and it's a portable three channel personal mixer. Now I haven't opened this yet, but I have looked into it. And before I open the box, let's just talk a little bit about it. Basically what it is, there's a belt pack which you can get sent three separate signals from the mixing desk. This belt pack is for your in-ear monitoring. So it basically means you can get sent three different signals. So say for example, I could get sent on channel one my vocal, channel two my guitar, and then a mix of the band on the third channel. This actually is funny, I was thinking I could do with something like this sometimes. Not so much when I'm just playing guitar in a band because most digital desks these days, you, you have an, an app so you can adjust your own mix yourself anyway. But when I'm singing and fronting a band and playing the guitar, it's impossible for me to go into the app and tweak about with it. I mean, I can do it sometimes on my desk. I'll manually do it if I kind of hold a note with this hand and lean over and do it. But to have this on my belt where I can just tweak the levels, because for me, on the in-ear monitoring, that is the most crucial thing is getting the balance between my guitar and the rest of the band and then making sure my vocal sits on top of that. So this looks like it could solve that very problem that I was thinking about just the other day. Also, before I open it, I just wanted to go through the other things I think this could be useful for before I actually try it in practice. I've done a few support slots doing solo acoustic guitar, just to name drop, never name drop. Mick Jagger told me that. Oh, I've done that joke before. Um, but I supported Nick Kershaw and I supported Big Country. So you turn up in a venue with acoustic guitar and then you get sent a mix to your in-ear monitors from the sound man. Now, the trouble is, you don't want to keep telling the sound man, oh, can you turn the guitar up or the vocal down? It's only two things. I don't want to keep doing it through the performance because that's boring for the audience. If I, in the future, get the chance to do this, I'm going to take this and I'm going to send my guitar to one of the sends and my voice to the other. Then I can adjust the mix independently myself, which I think would be a very useful thing for it to do. So without further ado, let's unbox. Right, let's get unboxing. I need a pair of scissors. You can never find a pair of scissors, can you, when you need one? Hang on. Found them. Thought my kids had stolen them. That's what normally happens. Let's just uh, snip the carefully. Don't want to damage the contents. Oh, there's a second sticky that I've got to undo. Here we are. There's the instructions. Probably going to have to re read them at some point. Oh, they're handy. The uh, converting from jack to XLR because these on the breakout box, they are. Oh, there we go. From the breakout box you've got three XLRs and you've got one power so I think you can send power down to your belt pack so you don't need to use a battery or you can put oh yeah you can put a battery in it so oh well, that's a nice size unit that's similar in size to my single channel um, headphone outputs I've got cat5 cable shielded in this heavy duty unit so there we go that's what you get so next thing is to set up my desk because I have a gig that's why I wanted to get this open now. I have a gig where I can use this, where I'm, it's a three piece band, it's my band, it's my desk, so I can set it up how I like. So what I'm gonna do, as I say, I'm gonna have my vocal on probably input one, my guitar on input two, and then a mix of the rest of the band on input three. So I shall set that up and show you how I've set it up on the desk and get this all working before I go to the gig so I can test it's running before I get there. Okay. This is the input channel of the mixer. I'm just using the first eight channels. I've got kick, snare, then the two overheads, then bass guitar, my vocal, and Rouse vocal. He's the drummer. Um, and then I have normally have just the one output on output one, which is what I have a mix of everything, and I use the app to balance it. Because I've got these two extra outputs, instead of moving the other two, and it makes it physically easier to plug them into the desk, I'll show you that later, I've set up output four, which just has my guitar in, and output five, which has a mix of the rest of the band in. So this is showing the faders, showing what's going to each output. This is output one, so it's mainly my vocal, and I've also got Rouse vocal in there, so I can hear it as well, but not quite as loud as mine. Out two, it's just my guitar, and mix three is a mix of the bass and drums, so everything except the guitar and vocals, which are in the other outputs. So this was the setup of the desk on the gig. It was an outdoor gig, as you can see, um, and you've already got the other two outputs set for Bo and Ralph on two and three, and with these adapters, they actually, they on my desk, the Jack's inputs are too close together for these adapters to fit because XLRs are just too wide. That's just the nature of it. I have got other leads that I can use, but these are quite handy, these little adapters. So that's partly why I put it in 1, 3, and 5 because it means it fits nicely. And there we are. There's the breakout box, which you plug the RJ45 into. That's the power that's on the breakout box, which means you can use power over Ethernet, which means you don't have to put a battery in the belt pack, which is fantastic. It just takes the kind of standard... 
um, boss adapter thing that you use for effects pedals. It's the same kind of input. And this was rather tricky to demonstrate, so I put the phone on a tripod, but this is how the um, RJ45s fit into the belt pack and the breakout box on the other end. And it's quite a nice, long, heavy-duty RJ45 cable. And as I've said on the other thing, it also provides power over Ethernet, so you don't need to put batteries into the belt pack. Here's just a little bit of footage of a sound checking. Um, I'm first of all adjusting the overall level. Then I'm trying to work out that I'm uh, getting my vocal and guitar in balance with the rest of the band. But this is great, otherwise I'd be doing this on the app, but being able to do this on the fly like this is fantastic. This is a bit of footage from the gig. Apologies for the cowboy hat and shorts. We were asked to dress as cowboys for this particular gig. It was a country and western themed party, so we did some country songs. Anyway, just to try and demonstrate what it is I'm hearing with the different mixes, I'm going to label here what they are so you can see and what I'm actually hearing. Big wheels keep on turning. <laughs> And now for my conclusion, as I've used this in anger on a live gig, I'd say I'm very impressed with this unit. It was really easy to use. I didn't have to read the instructions, which is even better. Um, so this belt pack, this is very similar in size. I've got, I've actually got two other ones. Um, you probably know which ones they are. They're fairly standard. They're about the same size. But this actually, because I can use the power over Ethernet. Um, it doesn't have the battery in, so this is even lighter. So it just sits nicely on your belt, you don't even know it's there really. You've got your master volume on the top here. Um, you've got a cho choice between battery or power over ethernet. And then you've got your three different inputs, which are, you know, where you work about they are, the bottom one, input one's down the bottom when you've got it on your belt that way around. And then you plug the RJ45 in there. And this RJ45, oh, whoops, <laughs> is a really nice, thick cable, nice long cable as well, I can't imagine needing it any longer than that. Um, and it's like a network lead you put on your computer, but it's all shielded within a kind of XLR type thing, and it just really solidly clicks in there. And then the same on the other end on the breakout box, which is what just fell on the floor and hit my acoustic guitar. Um, same again, it fits just nicely in there. And this breakout box here, you've got these three outputs labelled one, two and three and it comes with these adapters which are great if you can fit them on your desk or, or you don't need to if you've got XLR outputs on your desk. Um, I've also got the little cables that do the same thing as that which um, I could use as well but I think they're really neat and they fit into my desk if I spread them out. So that's great and as I mentioned before you plug in your standard kind of BOSS 9 volt um, effects pedal a nine volt adapter into there and that powers your belt pack so you don't need to um, put heavy batteries in it. The other thing worth mentioning is on my other ones I sometimes get a bit of distortion um, and I don't know why that is it, you know on certain things if they're loud I, it breaks up slightly and I know it's not the um, my actual in-ear monitors because they have decent ones and it's not too much level from the desk and I didn't get it on this so I don't know whether the power over ethernet is providing a better current to it or something but this actually was a better audio quality than my dedicated decent quality belt packs that I've got. I haven't had a chance to use this at a venue when I've got a sound man doing the sound just on my acoustic guitar but I think that would be great as well if I can try that and I can send two different signals so I can balance my guitar and my vocal because the thing what's good about this especially like on the footage I'm showing you where I'm singing playing guitar with the band is that it's very difficult for the to adjust it on the app while I'm playing and singing. With this it's really easy, you can just uh, really easily do it on the fly. And I find with, you know, you can set your mix up at the beginning of the gig, but as the band gets louder the dynamics change and the relative volumes between the instruments can change and it's only tiny tweaks you need and being able to just do it on this with a tiny little twist is so much easier than it is trying to do it on the app. The only downside, if I can think of a downside, is that you're not always going to be able to get sent three separate mixes from the sound desk. I can do it on mine because it's my desk and I can do what I want and I can set it up how I want. 
Um, on, an, on a bigger PA, when you've got lots of auxiliary outputs, I'm sure you can do it um, in a lot of venues. So that's what I'm hoping. I don't know yet, but I know on certain, like on my desk, if I'm playing with a five piece band, I'm not going to have three spare outputs. So that's the only time I can see that this wouldn't necessarily work. But even if you could just use two, I think that'd be fantastic. And I have to say, I might even use this if I can only get one because it sounded better than my existing one. So all in all, I would highly recommend this if this is the kind of thing that would be of use to you. So there we have it, the X5 PX3 channel portable mixer. Check out the links in the video for where you can get this. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and that was useful and I've explained clearly enough exactly what this does. I'll put all the links etc in the description so you can see where you can get one of these from. I'm going to leave you with a video of a bit of a guitar solo from the gig that I showed you earlier. Um, I bring out new videos, I release them at 7pm UK time on a Friday every week, so I hope to see you next week. Music